quick video just to show you what this looks like before I start putting in the wood chips. The, uh, the coil here, this is the thing that's going to pick up the heat. It's got the feed and return coming down through the well that goes back to the crawl space. And I got this sensor that detects how hot the compost pile is and I put it right there on the pipe so I know about how hot the water is that I'm gonna be getting out of this thing. And that ties back into the into the mechanical room where once I sense heat, I start cooling the pile and then it runs water through there until it's cool and then uh, waits for it to heat again. So that's it. I'm going to start burying it now. I made a big rookie error, but I thought it would be a good opportunity for me to show you the how the compost pile is coming. This is the, uh, uh, the water loop. It's got a feed in return. And then I've got this right here, which is the sensor. And that's just the sensor probe that tells me how hot the compost pile is. And I wanna relocate this because I don't want it on the pipe like I showed you before, because the return pipe is gonna be cold and it might read this as cold when the, the compost pile is still hot. So I'm gonna put it right about here between the, you know, between the edge and the pipe. So I kinda see how warm it is. Now the mistake I made is there's a little well here down here that my pipes come up through including the sensor wire and in the well are two shutoff valves for the feed and return pipe and i forgot to turn them on which really sucks because then i buried the thing and well i get to tell you while i was digging this this compost is hot this this stuff warms up very quickly i went uh before i dug this up this sensor probe was reading 80 something degrees first thing in the morning when it was cold so I know this works really well. Up oh, there's my there's my hole. So I got to get in there right here and get those two shutoff valves on and then I can flush this, you know, send send some water through here, get all the air out of it and I'll start running it. Just give you a panoramic. These are just breathers tubes that I'm putting in for the for the chips so they have plenty of stuff to breathe. I got a bunch of chips from an arbalist who cuts down trees and he's got a whole truckload of chips and he, he was happy to dump them in my yard for free because he didn't have to go to the dump. But I asked him and he said they're all organic. There's no uh, formaldehydes or chemicals in them. So this is a great way to do this. So I'll let you know once I get these on. So the pipes are right there, the two shutoff valves, and I now have them on. So this should, that should be the last, last thing I need to do on this. Those are all the, the air tubes, sensor probe. This thing is going to go right about here after I bury it all. And that'll sense the temperature of the pile. And I've got my thermostat set to cooling. I'll show you that in the mechanical room. And then I'm just going to fill this up to a level, I don't know, right about just covering that top pipe there. I've still got enough chips. And we'll see how long this thing cooks and how much heat I get out of it. As a father, I talk to my son a lot or punish him a lot for things he does. And one thing I realized is that you don't assume anything. Don't assume they know anything. So I'm gonna show you this because I'm gonna assume nobody knows anything. The compost pile has to be wet. Otherwise the bacteria doesn't grow. So as you're starting to put the chips down, every like four, five or six wheelbarrow fulls get in and, and wet it down. So it's not, you don't want it too sopping wet, but you want it to be like about spongy, uh, consistency where where you can kind of squeeze it and get moisture out but you don't want it dripping wet either so I'm just kind of watering it down this is where I had to dig the hole to turn on the valves mistake I just made so I'm gonna water this down really good because it's got to go deep and it should do it so 
This is about the consistency you want, just kind of where your hand's wet, but not, not too sopping wet. And the other thing I do is I take this pile of dog dookie that Max provided for me, and I just kind of scatter it through the pile as I'm throwing in a wheelbarrow, throw some more poop in there. It helps activate the compost, and that way it'll uh, start composting faster. This short video is going to show you how my mechanical room works, and I'll give you a little panoramic here. This is the mechanical room that's all working now. That's the water furnace, the big, the, th the geothermal system, which turns ground heat into usable heat here. This is the geotank. 40 gallon and the the geo system just basically heats up this water tank and then as the heating system calls for heat it comes out and heats that that's the domestic hot water heater and you can see all the pumps that are associated with that the this one is the boiler the backup boiler and really hasn't been running that often the geo system really just takes up all the heat for the hot water and it also heats up the house. So it's, it's an awesome system. This is the geo system controller. And this is where I set the temperature of the hot tank. Right now it's at 127, set point 125, um, cold tank 115. Really important though, you have to keep the... Okay, so let's give you a kind of a quick review of how this works the controller has a heat pump a second stage and then a backup boiler so when the heat pump get turns on all that does is it turns my geo system on and it heats up this tank so it gets a feedback from the thermostat from that geo tank, if it gets cold, then it starts heating up the geo tank, and that's really about all it does. The second phase, what that does is it closes this zone valve right here, and then this um, the geo system just heats the heats the house. So this is for the living room. We've got a balancing manifold that comes back. This is for the master bedroom, also a balancing manifold because there's two zones, and then. All of this heat just comes from from the geo system. It doesn't. It just circulates from here through through there and then return and then back to the back to the pump and just as a system like that. When that zone valve is closed, this side of the system it also has a pump. It pumps hot water from the boiler and then that will hit the that will that'll be high temperature water which can heat up the hot water heater and then my baseboard heats in the basement it also needs a high a high temperature call so um, those two zone valves are for the high temperature so if the geo system can't handle what is being called for then that zone valve closes and then the boiler takes over for the domestic hot water in the basement heat and this heats the rest of the house so it's kind of a split system like that. And of course that's all controlled by these relays and uh, just all the, uh, the node terminals that I have here. This thermostat here, right now it's reading the temperature of the compost pile. I just put it in, it was actually 60 when I started, it's already 64. So the, that temperature that I showed you, that temp temperature probe I showed you outside is, reading the temperature of the compost pile now before i had that mistake and i dug up that area this was up around 78 so you could tell that thing heats up really quick now when that heats up what it does is it it starts circulating hot water through this heat exchanger um, and that hot water will go into the well now this this manifold right here is a balancing manifold for the well for all the for a down in return for all the the wells that i dug each well has its own balancing gauge and that goes on all the way through there i've got i think 12 or 13 of them 
And what happens is the the compost pile it just starts it starts sending heat into the well. So because if you look at this this pipe is cold as all giddy up because it's it actually sends cold water into the ground and then it heats it uh, it's basically cooling the ground while it's heating your house. So the compost it'll send hot water because it's low temperature it's probably only about 100 degrees. It goes down into the well, heats up the ground and then it takes it really quick so it's it's not like you're going to lose that heat to the ground um, unless it went really fast. Now this little zone valve here this this will come down and heat up the tank or if I have a cooling call then then it switches to this side and then the geo system has a reversing valve and it sits starts making cold water and that will go up to my forced air system which I'll I'll do that probably next summer. And then these are just uh, air release and, um, you know, uh, 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 expansion tanks for the pumps. Um, got my little uh, control panel here. And this is for the, the geo well. That's a bigger pump, so it needs a, a bigger tank. And then I got one up here for the circulator between the load side of the geo system and this tank or the, the cooling. And then, of course, I got a couple here for the the circulators um, that circulate through the house. That one's for the height, the the boiler, and that one's for the geo system. Now, the geo system will uh, start heating the hot water first. What I've got it set to on the controller is a ten, or sorry, a uh, seven minute timer. So if it doesn't satisfy the call in seven minutes, then the the zone valve closes and then the boiler starts helping out. But it it's enough to heat the house, but the domestic call sometimes gets overwhelms it. So that's why we have that. This is just a booster pump for the uh, domestic hot water and then the zone valve so we don't get, uh, so when I get pressure going through here, it doesn't circulate through the the domestic hot water heater when it's not calling for it. And then, of course, uh, we have the backflow prevention valve down here, somewhere here, uh, pressure regulator. Uh, we really don't need that one, but I got one for to, to regulate the, the heating pressure and then one to regulate the, the um, compost pile circulator and all that good stuff. So once this hits, and it probably should be just about a couple days, once this hits about 90 degrees, then it starts circulating hot water into the ground and that'll replenish the heat that the geo system has taken out of the ground and then I replenish the heat there and then that will will heat the system. This is a, just a, a door that closes to make it nice and neat and I'll get a little uh, view of everything above here. And these are all the, the zones that come go into the, the house and back. So those are all feed and returns. I did some switches. I'm probably going to move that switch over here so I can have access to it. And these this is the ducting because it used to be forced air. Now it's in-floor radiant heat. And you can see I ran all the lines into the house from, from the mechanical room. But I'm still going to use the all the ducting. I'll still use that for the AC system but it'll be water chilled and then I'll have forced air through that. And I'm probably going to put that, the air handler right in here. And that way I get heating and cooling and I'm not paying for gas to heat the house and I'm not paying for that much electricity to cool it. Now, when I get uh, solar panels on the house, it's probably going to balance it out and I won't have a huge electrical bill either. So this house will be darn near net zero with this system installed. So that's pretty much it. Uh, if you have any likes or dislikes or questions, just go ahead and uh, text me or comment and I'll answer what I can. Now I gotta set the, now you can see that's already heating up to 65 and that's just over a couple hours. So this thing's gonna get pretty hot. So what I wanna do is I wanna set this to cooling. This is the thermostat. So whenever this gets too hot, it'll click a relay that says start cooling and that'll energize the pump. 
which will send the water through the compost pile underground, which will cool it. It'll go back to the compost pile. So essentially I'm cooling the compost pile. So here's what I want to do. I want to hit set. Um, and that's Fahrenheit, so I don't want that. That's the set temperature. I want to say we're going to start cooling the compost pile when it reaches about 85 degrees. And the reason I send all that, and that's going to, all I have to do is just leave that alone and then it'll uh, go back to its normal setting. The reason I send all the compost heat underground is because compost heat, I'm only going to get about 90, maybe 100 degrees at best. So that's not quite hot enough to heat the house. But if I'm heating the ground, which the geo system is cooling, then it, it gives me more heat to draw out of the ground. So dead in the, in the dead of winter, when the compost is sending heat down there, I can still draw it out. So because it's a low temperature... Well, something just kicked on. Let's see what that was. Okay, it looks like that was my hot water heater. And you can see right now, the hot water heater just kicked on. And what's happening is this pump kicked on. So it's just circulating hot water from the geotank. And it's trying to heat up the, hot, the domestic hot water heater. So you can tell this is probably going to start going down because the geotank was 127, the hot water heater is at 120. So I've got about seven degrees, and usually it catches up before it needs the boiler to kick in. Um, thus far, we really haven't even started using the boiler at all. So this has essentially killed my gas bill. I don't really have a gas bill at all. Um, the only thing that this house needs to kill is the is electric bill and once I kill that then I'm net zero so right now it's heating my hot water uh, it usually takes about five six minutes if that doesn't happen in five six minutes then that zone valve closes and the boiler kicks on and helps it out but that usually doesn't happen I think my son's using the shower right now so that's why that's on so that's the system. Um, now the compost heat is set and we'll see how that starts heating up the ground.